and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another fun first impressions video. First of all, I need to give a shout out to my hair gal Jenna from Spiced Up Locks at Urban Edge Salon here in Fargo. I just got a haircut and she curled my hair for me and I think it looks fabulous. She also told me she's going to start a YouTube channel soon. So I'm so excited for hair tutorials and things like that. But yeah, she always hooks me up with really great hair and I just wanted to give her a shout out because I love her so much and she is so sweet. Anyway, without further ado, I'm sure you guys are all curious to hear my thoughts on Pretty Vulgar Cosmetics. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so I decided to pick up some Pretty Vulgar stuff because they're a new brand to Sephora. They launched like last week, so of course I had to hop on the train and pick up a few things. I only picked up two things. I picked up one of their liquid lipsticks as well as an eyeshadow palette. They had three different ones. I kind of picked this one because it was like the most neutral that I thought would work with my medium skin tone. They had a lighter shade palette and then they had another one that was all like really fun colors so I thought I would just grab one of these and try it out because ain't nobody got money to be buying three different eyeshadow palettes so I just picked the one that worked best for me and I thought I would try one of their liquid lipsticks as well so as far as pricing goes the brand is definitely mid-range for Sephora the eyeshadow palette was $35 I believe and this contains 1.4 grams um, times seven because um, there are seven bigger eyeshadows and then the smaller ones are 1.2 grams times five. The palette has a shelf life of 12 months and then it says it's bulk made in the USA and assembled in the Dominican Republic which to me means that it's not made in America. Now this is cruelty free the brand which I think is great because I kind of have told you guys I'm going to try and buy more cruelty free products. I'm definitely not 100% cruelty free but it's something I want to achieve um, hopefully this year and into next year. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and throw my demo of the product in right here. Usually I film this part first and I forgot to film an intro to my demo. So I'm going to go ahead and awkwardly insert it here. Do apologize in advance. The well, first thing I want to do is prime my lids now. Usually I have my foundation on when I film a demo of a palette, but I'm actually going to do two first impressions in this video. So I'm going to do some pretty vulgar and then I'm going to try out a new foundation as well. So first I'm going to prime with the Master Prime by Maybelline. I haven't used this eyeshadow primer in a hot minute, but I figured I'd try it out again see how this does with the new eyeshadow. I'm just taking this Real Techniques brush and buffing it in. My skin is really greased up right now because I put on my Sunday Riley Juno oil. Now to set the eyeshadow, I'm gonna use um, this light shade called Nocturnal from the P Pretty Walker palette and this is just a wet and wild large eyeshadow brush dust off so it looks like there's quite a bit of dustiness so we're gonna just kind of place this all over the lid I'm trying to press it in to my eyelid pigmentation on this shade is okay I'm actually having a hard time with this pan size because it's like a really odd shape it's kind of hard to pick up the product Now, something to keep in mind with my first impressions is I've never touched this palette. I've never used it before. I've never, like, done anything with it. I'm going to try and use this mirror, actually. So the mirror is nice. So far, I'm not really impressed with that shade. Next, I'm going to grab the shade Flip Out right here and throw that in my crease. I'm just going to use, like, an Anastasia brush right here. Blending that into my crease. Okay. 
Just try to blend it out because it feels really dry, the formula. It's not the smooth buttery formulas I'm really used to, but those are just the two matte shades. I haven't tried any of the shimmer shades yet. I'm gonna grab another cheap shadow brush and kind of lighten up my brow bone here. So far, I'm not really feeling this palette. A lot of the shades kind of remind me of the Naked Smoky palette and like the original Naked palette from Urban Decay, but the shadows are very ordinary. So I'm not gonna try and do anything fancy. I just threw in a dark shade in my crease and then I'm gonna pat a shimmer shade on my lid and then maybe smoke it out with the shade All Nighter. So the shimmer shade I'm gonna try out is Clutch right here. Definitely looks like a shade from the Naked palette. Um, like a beautiful champagne shade. It's okay. It's definitely softer than the matte shades. But it's not blowing me away. Which is a problem. For a $35 eyeshadow palette, I just was expecting more. I'm just going to show you guys. And then I'm just going to take that same Anastasia brush, grab the shade All Nighter down here, just throw that in to the other corner. Oopsie, it's going to stick a little bit on this side. Just trying to brighten this lighter shade up a little bit more. Oh, I'm so disappointed in this palette. I like hate this eye look. I don't even want to finish this video. It's so bad. It's not that it's so bad. It's just that like I've used better eyeshadows. So anytime I use a palette that's just like not as good, it just like breaks my heart because I'm like, I can do better than this. So, like, screw you palette, and I kind of messed up a little bit out here, so I'm trying to even that out, but I don't think there's, I don't think I'm going to have anything good to say about this palette to you guys. And there's quite a bit of fallout, too. I mean, it's not crazy, but it just looks money, and I, like, I'm really not liking this eyeshadow look. Okay guys, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish my face and then I'm gonna review the palette and that's gonna be it. Okay guys, I had finished filming my Pretty Vulgar review and then I realized I didn't film swatches for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and awkwardly insert it right here. So I'm just gonna swatch all of these shades on my front of my hands here and show them to you guys. They feel a little more buttery when I swatch them with my fingers but so here are the first seven shadows pretty patchy this shade called dark side so I'm just gonna show you from top here we have nocturnal pillow fight break free and then dark side hide and seek clutch was the shimmery shade I put all over my lid that one was pretty smooth, but definitely not the best. And then Flip Out, which is the shade I put in my crease. So there they are. Five on the bottom part of the palette, like these, are definitely more smoky. So if I was to cover this up, this part definitely looks like a smoky palette. So the top is the shade I Spy, which I think is a pretty standard color. It's like a smoky brown shade. Silver Spoon is another great smoky shade. I mean, I feel like I have a thousand dupes of this in like the Ride or Die palette. Again, the Naked Smoky palette. Uh, next shade is Swoop, After Midnight, and then All Nighter is that darker shade. I don't know, I think it's like a black and brown shade. And that one felt really gritty. Like what, now that I've gotten the first layer off, it feels a lot softer. But these are all the shades swatched, so take a good look. And now I'm gonna go back to my review. 
So the liquid lipsticks are not really cheap. These are $24, which I think is kind of insane. Like that's pretty pricey for a lipstick. Okay, so I think they messed up on my order because I meant to buy this shade, which is brown. That's the one I know I bought, but they sent me, this is like a metallic lipstick. And it doesn't say like what the color is anywhere, except it says it's Artful Deception, but on their website right now, and I'm trying to find this color, and I can't find one that's called Artful, De Artful Deception under their liquid lipsticks category. So I'm really confused because this is definitely metallic. So did they send me the wrong lipstick? Like, can somebody tell me? Now this is supposed to be a liquid lipstick and I am just not sure how they came up with the idea that this was like a liquid lipstick because it is definitely glossy, it doesn't dry matte, it is comfortable, it's a very thick creamy formula but overall I just really don't like this color on me. I definitely thought I was getting a shade called brown. Um, so I don't know if they like messed up on the packaging or what because I would have never ordered a metallic gray shade like this. It's just not like something I'm into. It's really not something that I would repurchase. Um, I just got one of the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks and I have a few others of these and I really like, you know, this is like my shades that I gravitate towards. So I really think either Sephora messed up or Pretty well got messed up on their description or something because I would have never ordered this shade. So this is definitely going back. I'm going to go ahead and quickly insert my demo of me putting on the liquid lipstick and then we'll come back and finish up this video. I think it was called Brown. Artful Deception is the shade and it's like a metallic shade. I thought I was getting a different color. I don't know what I was thinking but um, I do want to try this out. So... I love the packaging. This color is definitely not one I would gravitate towards. It's like a very gray metallic. The formula is really thick and creamy. And it smells like, I don't know, I don't know if there's a fragrance to it. It's kind of lemony scented, like very faint though, but the packaging is really cute. Um, I don't know, this color isn't one I would wear all the time. Um, it's comfortable and it's really creamy. So I don't feel like, is this supposed to be a liquid lipstick? So it says it's an en enjoy full coverage and metallic shine with my lips are sealed liquid lipstick. Our highly pigmented liquid lipstick is lightweight and glossy, yet long wearing, entering hours of pout perfection. So they do call it a liquid lipstick. I don't feel like it's going to dry down because, again, it said it was glossy. So I think this is more like a creme lipstick. Um, but, yeah, I guess I can wear test it and see what I think. Maybe let's see if it lasts through the video. So, okay, guys, I do apologize because I feel like overall this video has been kind of a hot mess. But to be honest, I was really, really disappointed with these products. I was really expecting more from the eyeshadow palette, and I was really disappointed. You can basically see that in my demo. Um, I would not recommend any of these products to you guys just because this the, the hard thing for me is I always feel like I'm so negative in my reviews, and I'm definitely not a makeup expert, and I'm not saying you can't make this palette work if you tried. You definitely can. It's just that when there's other formulas out there that are better, why would you waste the energy doing that? You know, why would you waste your time trying to make something like this work when you can play with better eyeshadows? That's my thing. I'm not an expert. I'm not a makeup artist. But with the skills that I have, I feel like I can make other palettes work so much better. So I would not recommend anything from this line so far. I just, I mean, I only tried two things, so maybe they have other stuff that's really good, but 
So far, I'm not feeling this and I would not recommend it. Okay guys, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, definitely go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys have tried anything from Pretty Vulgar Cosmetics. I'd be really curious to know what your thoughts are. Also guys, don't forget to subscribe down below and if you are a YouTuber, definitely leave me your channel down below because I'd love to check you out and give you a thumbs up and subscribe to your channel as well. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great day. Bye!